Uh, I've seen a few conversations lately about um, tasting notes and people smelling and tasting and discussing whiskey or rum or whatever their beverage is and how it can be really pretentious. Yes, I agree with you, it can be. No, it is not always. <laughs> and I also want to ask you guys to help me out with something and it is going to involve a whole lot of tasting notes. It's coming up real soon and I need your help this Monday New Zealand time or Sunday if you're in the past. So I have seen some discussions and been involved in some discussions lately about how nosing, tasting, giving flavour profiles, telling people what you taste in, in beverages is kind of wanky and stupid and pretentious. And I get you. Yeah, you're right. It can be. If someone is doing it to lord it over you, if someone is doing it to one up you, if someone is doing it to make you feel like you can't hang and you shouldn't be enjoying the beverage you're drinking, they're being an absolute prick. That has nothing to do with what they should be doing, in my opinion. <laughs> Why do I think it should be something that you do do and learn to do and uh, build up a repertoire of names and flavors that you remember to be able to discuss these things with people? Number one is simply, simply to figure out what you like, what you don't like and be able to track more things like that down. Here's the thing guys, not everyone is into the same whiskey, into the same rum, into the same spirits, whatever it happens to be. And if you like rum A, but you don't like rum B, but I love rum B and I hate rum A. <laughs> That's not gonna happen, I like pretty much all rums. But anyway, if that is the case, there has to be something in those two spirits that I like, that you don't like, and that you like, that I don't like. If you can articulate what you don't like about a spirit, and more importantly, probably what you do like about a spirit, that means that we can have a conversation. Oh, oh, you like this one? And you like it because it has that flavor in it? That's awesome, I've tasted that flavor but dialed up to 11 in this bottle over here, you should try it. This becomes so much more important if you're in the hobby, the craft or the business of making the stuff yourself. If you can identify flavors that you don't want to be in your whiskey, if you can articulate them, if you can describe them, that means that you can talk to other people about what's going on in your whiskey. You can get advice from other people. You can figure out why it is that you don't specifically like a certain aspect of that beverage. And in turn, you can figure out how to improve it. It doesn't even have to be about advice from someone else. If you can't describe what is on the, in this glass now, good luck. Trying to remember that in three years time when you are trying to compare it to something that you've made more recently, for example. And let's face it guys, uh, this, stuff, this stuff takes a while to mature sometimes. <laughs> so being able to record what you're experiencing right now uh, for future Jesse to be able to benefit from, that's pretty powerful. And lastly guys, honestly, I think it just helps me enjoy it more. If I can pick it up and sort of enjoy it on another level in terms of not in terms of, wow, I'm so great at this, so I'm having more fun, but in terms of, that's interesting, there's peach in there, I wonder where that came from, I wonder what ingredients they used, I wonder what process they used, could it perhaps be the yeast that's led to that, you get the idea, right? If you can look behind the curtain, you get another little layer of enjoyment out of a hobby. At the beginning of this video, I said that I needed your help with something, and that's true, I 100% do, it's not clickbait. Uh, I am horribly guilty at letting these jars just sit around and age and never really do anything with it. Having a taste every now and again, maybe switching out some wood, but not actually ever really blending it into a finished bottle that I can have on the shelf inside and just enjoy a, a, you know, a glass of it. Uh, due to the extra spirits I'm making at the moment and the lack of being able to buy anything, I'm also running out of these jars. So I've set myself a challenge. I need to sit down and blend from what I've got, from what I've got sitting around in these jars, a few different enjoyable beverages that I will happily sit down and drink, you know, when I'm relaxing in the evening. To be honest, I could not for the life of me figure out how I could make this into a video that anyone want, would want to watch. So instead what I want to do is uh, get you guys involved. I'm going to do a live stream. I'm going to do it all live and this could turn into an absolute debacle considering I will be drinking live for some time. <laughs> I would really like your input guys and the way that I'm going to get your input is that I'm tasting through these 16 jars that I've set aside that I think uh, could potentially contribute to different blends. I'm working on tasting notes for all of these, so I am sitting and sipping them, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm creating a spreadsheet, which I'm gonna share with you guys, which lets you know sort of what each spirit is all about. I have not finished tasting everything yet because um, 
it's actually hard to make detailed notes on that many spirits. <laughs> but the link is available in the description. So guys, please turn up to the live stream. It is going to be on Monday at nine o'clock in New Zealand. Now, I can't for the life of me remember what that is for everything else. So a few different time zones here that should give you a rough idea of when it is for you. I'll put these down in the description as well. But the very best thing you can do is follow the link over to the live stream, uh, hit the set reminder button and take note of when it is for you. That will be in your local time. I really hope to see you there. I've got a couple of guests coming along to help me out. Uh, one of which who does this professionally. This is literally his job and he does a damn fine job at it. So I'm hoping we can pick uh, their brains for some insight that you guys can use to do the same thing at home and also stuff that you know specifically helps me with the blends that I'm doing here. I'll also be doing some giveaways. I have some alchemeters, hydrometers, uh, some random still at merch to give away as well. Now, I haven't yet, I have yet to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that live while drinking and trying to keep a conversation going with myself half the time. Don't know, but I will be giving that stuff away. <laughs> Anyway, I'd love to see you there. This is going to be a long one, so grab a drink, chill out, hang out, relax with me, hang out in the comments, sing as we can't, you know, get together in person right now, and we'll, we'll have a grand old time. i got to get going, guys. I've got more uh, work to do. So I'll see you on Monday slash Sunday. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.